hello guys welcome to my youtube channel uh today we'll be doing a sentiment analysis project on amazon mizuka instrument review using python i actually divided this video into two parts this is the part one in this part here what i'm going to do here is we are going to classify the customer's feedback uh into positive neutral or negative uh the customer's review on the product let's uh know the kind of feedback that they get and uh um for that we have to do some little review we'll pre-process the data and some data cleaning and prepare it for the second part of the video which in which we are going to uh use visuals to see the insight from those particular uh data that we cleaned um so let's jump right in there all right here you can see that i've downloaded my data set and I've, i'm already at this stage here uh, here's the data set the musical instrument review i'm going to drop the data set in the description and if you don't know how i got to this particular position here uh then i'll advise you to go and watch my video on introduction to jupyter notebook uh, that should help you i'll also drop the link in the description so let's go ahead and open up the notebook file so that we can start uh with our project book file has opened so we'll go ahead and and rename this let's rename this to let's just call it reviews just call it reviews you can call your own anything so uh i've actually created a workflow for this project in which you're going to use in order to make it very uh linear and simple and i've done my best to make sure that this project is beginner friendly so it doesn't matter if you don't have any experience in uh, uh python data analytics i'll make sure i explain every step and as you go along so here this is the the workflow for this project that i've done uh so that we can all follow along for this part and the first thing we are doing is we are, we are importing the necessary libraries that we need then we'll load the data we'll check the data set information then we'll start pre-processing the data so let's go with the first three the first one is importing the importing the the libraries so let's import the, the libraries so here you can see i've installed a particular extension that can allow me to have a table of content here so if i change this to a markdown now if I change it to a markdown and uh, run it it's, it's going to become a particular figure figure number it's because of the particular extension here it's helped me create a table of content so that if i have a lot of work here i can navigate from one uh, table of content to another and it's actually very nice it helps your code to be easy to read and very easy for you to navigate so you can just go ahead and install it you just come to this place here and install a particular extension uh not to waste our time let's just go ahead and continue with what we are doing today so let's import the library so the first one i'm going to import is let's import the one for reading our data frame so which is a uh, pandas and let's call it as pd uh, what's my mistake okay so let's go ahead and import let's import our numpy or multi-dimensional array let's call it uh np and let's import let's just import everything that we we'll need later even in the second part of the project uh let's import our let's import our c bone as this let's import our math plot lib high plots i'm going to use it later let's call this one as plt so you know um pandas has some kind of warnings that he likes bringing on when you are uh, some kind of warnings that are not really important so let's just import warnings so that it's going to ignore them then from warning dot um warning dot filter warnings 
we are going to ignore them. Um, ignore. So, uh, there you go. So now we are done with the first one, which we have imported the libraries. So the second thing we are going to do is, uh, second thing we are going to do is, uh, let me add this as a comment up here. I've told you before, I want to make this as beginner friendly as I can. Import the libraries. So now let's go ahead and load our data set. So um, here we want to call, let's call it our data frame as, let's call it as review. Let's name it review. And we're going to use the pandas to load it. The CSV file. And it's inside data set. And here is it so let's preview it let's see how it looks like let's take a look at the data set it's loading if you see the particular uh time this thing here it means that it's loading so there you go that's the data set uh we have the review id we have the Async, which means uh, the product ID, then the review name from this review ID here, then the helpfulness, uh, whether the review is helpful or not. We have the review text, then the overall rating, the summary, which is uh, we are in as we continue, we're going to make this and this because they're almost the same. Then this is the review, unique review time. I don't think it's really important. Then we have the, the review date here, save as the review time. The, you can see we have the, the year, the day, and the date. So uh, let's go ahead and add more notebooks. So what I want to do here is uh, actually let's go back and check our next, which is actually checking the data set info. So that's where I've said you can add as many uh heading as you want to help your table of content easy to navigate so <clears throat> um let's just print something down with it i don't know i just like playing around with it you can go ahead and ignore this and let's just see uh the data set information and uh, we are going to concatenate this. Let's concatenate it with the um, with the information function. Sorry, and it's going to be dot info. Let's see. So here, this information of data set. You can see that everything here. The review ID up here is a. Uh, object and the overall rating is the one that is a float then this is actually an int then the rest are objects i think the reason why this is a float because of this uh point point those point zero that's why it's a float that's why if we if we even take a let's just take a look at it uh, let's take a look at it overall so you can see that everything here is a float about almost 10,260 and all of them they are all uh, float as a data type so that is not among our project workflow so let's just go back and look at what we what to do next and which is uh now we're going to pre-process the data and do, do some lot of things here and here we only check the null values and if there's any null values we will fill them then from there we'll move to the next one so we're supposed to add a heading here and we didn't do that so let's just go ahead and add it let's add that let's take this column up so let's copy this one here so let's just cut it let's paste it here Let's change this to a markdown. I want to make this as beginner friendly as I can so that it's easy for you to read. So you can see that from here we can navigate back to the first uh 
workflow that we did then here comes the common again so now we are checking we are what are we doing again we are checking for no values actually it's pre-processing pre of data pre-processing of data set so we also want this to be a heading so it's going to be a markdown so now we want to check for no values check for no value this is a comment mind you uh so let's just let's just see the sum of the null values so let me just do review uh it's null that we can see this total sum of the null value per uh column um the sum let's see so here you can see we have the review text which is actually what we're going to be using most uh later on the review text here having about seven uh no value then the review name we might decide to ignore this review name here with this 27 no value because we already have a reviewer a reviewer id and the reviewer id has a zero no value so it means this is unique it is actually uh distinct it has a distinct count of zero so uh we'll just go ahead and review this uh ignore this review name reviewer's name and just fill, fill out this one here so what we'll do here is uh let's let's fill out fill out uh reviewer right in the wrong spelling no oh, that's the review text not reviewer text so it's going to be review the data frame name uh review text of course will be equals to uh this so we're going to do it um your text dot fill in a so i think we're going to pass in another this thing there which is missing there's any missing value there we should delete so let's just go ahead and let's let's run this first let's see there's no error it means it went perfectly okay so let's check this now and see if it actually fill uh the review text so there you go the review text now is also zero so it means everything is okay so uh already we have already done three already let's go back to our workflow and check so now we're going to decide on the nature of the data set we're going to see we are, we are going to actually divide the the overall rating i'll explain that as i go on then we'll get the uh distribution and all that uh which is um, uh, okay number five right which is deciding well here we have three so what i think i was counting this as well well we are already on the same track so that's, that does that doesn't really count uh now we are deciding we are deciding on the nature need to with what exactly data set of any margin sick i'm tired already so <clears throat> let's change this to a markdown first let's change it to a markdown so what i want to do here is uh let me just write everything here what I want to do here is I want to say if if the if the rating if the rating if the rating is uh equal to three 
let me just use this if it's equals to three then we want to say it is neutral how did this pay that in again new yeah it's neutral if the rating if the rating is greater than three uh then we we'll say it's positive right we're trying to help, see how we can bring out the, the, the sentiment from the review text and then here you can see if if the rating is if the rating is less than three right then this should be negative so i think we're able to come out with a very good decision on the data set from the review text uh let's go back and see what we're to do next so after that or right, let's get an overall count so that we can be able to see what i'm talking about here so let's look at the the review text now what am i doing the overall rating let's let's look at the value count it's my auto update is not helping me at all value count i think that's the function uh yeah so it works so here this is what i'm trying to explain here i want to say if the rating is equals to three which is actually the 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 mean the mean the the median here if it's actually equals to three then this to be neutral the the sentiment should it be categorized as negative or positive just be neutral then if it's less than three it should be negative if it's above three then it should be positive rating you understand let's look at our data set again and let's see let's look at our data set again and let's see uh, so before we create the sentiment here you can see we have the review text and we have the summary which actually means the same thing so i think it would be nice for us to combine these two columns here this review text and this sentiment we just combine the two of them so that we can have the same uh, sentiment from the two columns so what we're going to do here is uh uh let me add a column as well let me add this a a, a a comment so let's combine the uh the review text this video is becoming very long i don't want to bore you with a very long video the summary so we are going to name it we are going to create another new column which is going to be only the review which we are going to pick the sentiment from so let's call it review and we want this review to be a, a combination of the review text and and the summary so let's check our data frame again and let's see. Uh, like this scene the header, I don't know. So here you, here, here you go. We have another new column here, a combination of this uh, and this. So we don't need this review text column and this summary again. So let's just go ahead and drop it. So it's going to be review. Uh, right to be equals to review dot drop we're now passing the column name and the next one is uh review text so the spelling not bringing auto complete for me so summary and we have to set the axis so we don't get an error of Jesus, what am I doing? Let's change the axis. It equals to one. Let's run this again and see. So there you go. The review text and the summary are out. We just have the. So we can see we are making the progress on our data set, and as we are doing some little reprocessing and all that. 
So let's move to the next workflow. Don't worry, I'm going to I'm going to make a documentation for this video where you can go ahead and read everything that I've done here, one after the other. If you can cannot follow along, but the best way for you to learn is uh, you pause the video and try to practice what I've done. So uh, the next thing is now we can create a sentiment column. We can write a function to 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 be able to decide if the sentiment is a uh, the text is actually neutral positive or negative from this review here so we are going to write a function to do that we'll apply it to the sentiment column and we are going to see the amount of total sentiment in it let's go ahead and add another this let's just call this uh sentiment let's make it a markdown because want to be a heading so that we can easily navigate through it so uh the first thing you want to do is you want to write a function let's 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 write sentiment function uh to decide from the text so here yeah, let's call our function sent and let's define a variable let's call it let's call it rating and uh, we say if this rating of overall is equals to three they want this to return a value and let's call that value new right i'm just getting this spelling i don't know somebody's there looking at me is it right oh come on it's right so if else else if this rating here of the overall if it's greater than three then return a value uh, to be equals to positive right else return my value to be equals to negative so now we can so now we can return the value so what i tried to explain here was uh try to see if we just try to put in this particular text that we wrote wrote up here into a particular if else statement such that if the overall rating is equal to three then you should turn it as neutral if it's because if greater than three then it's a positive else anything apart from that you no know, negative you no know possibly that it's less than three so it's it will turn it as negative so now we'll, we'll create we'll create the sentiment column the sentiment column and apply this function to it so i want to create it in the review let's call it sentiment and want it to be uh, want to apply to review uh, so this this function name is sent i want to set the axis to one uh so this i'm supposed to have oh, what am i doing what am i tired already i just started so it's loading name sent is not defined mm. didn't i run this oh sorry that's my error so let's run this here so it's supposed to go on where now so here you can see okay let's just check the first 30. the first 30 we're supposed to see something as neutral negative i'm right so here you go we have the first neutral there 
and it's three so it means our function is working let's look for negative so negative of course less than three so we're able to create a sentiment column to be able to determine uh the position of the sentiment from this review text here uh, which is actually something very nice uh which we're going to use later when we're doing the uh, visualizations so let's go ahead and check our next workflow i think we are almost done we are, okay let's check the count then after that we now split the date so uh if we're checking that um, review sentiment let's know account because let's just know how it looks like is it is my audio up but they're not helping me oh Oof. let's see why is it running so slow value counts not count somebody's just laughing at me can you imagine so it's coming up so here you can see we have about 9,000 positive comments, about uh, 772 neutral comments, and the four, uh, 467 uh, negative comments in total from this uh, review text here. And if you want to see the, uh, what would I say? If you want to see the structure of the data set, if I come back here and run this which you're able to see it about 10,261 rows and 961. So, <clears throat> I mean, the shape, the shape of data set. This is the shape of the data set. I mean, here, just run the whole data, the data set and you're able to view that. So, let's go back to our workflow and let's see. So, we've already done almost everything that's here. So, let's see how we can actually get. Uh, Let's see how we can actually get the this thing. The, let me go back to the so that I can show what I'm talking about. Look at this here. Here we have the review time, which is actually as the date. We have the year, we have the day, and we have the month. So let's see how we can split this. Let's see how we can split the date. So this is actually another markdown. Um so let's call this one let's call it split date let's change it to magnum and let me run it okay so here if you look at this now we have the the day and the month all separated from the year by a a a comma a comma delimiter so we first of all select separate it by a delimiter they will now look for to separate this from this so let's see how we can split that so we have the the review uh review time it's yeah review time to be equals to this right uh let's call this another let's call this another let's name it another um variable let's call this one split the split date let it be equals to review time um, review time so it's a string it's a string that was splitting and the first thing we are splitting here is by the first delimiter which is actually a semicolon so we are splitting it by a semicolon from the first position it's n equals to one and we want to expand that to be true so here is a function that's going to split it's going to split the day and the month from the year so now we are going to 
now we are going to save this we are, we are going to save this into different different uh we are going to save the dates the dates we are going to save the month and the day in one column then the year in another column so let me just add comment here so that you understand what i'm saying this is split function so this one here we are splitting this one here we are splitting okay this one we are adding sorry so we are adding the let's add the the first thing they say is day right it's month it's date of course it's still date so I'll add the date to data frame so it's going to be revealed name let's create a new uh column let's call it date i want you to take the first index of split d actually zero let's go ahead and copy this uh there you go so now we want to add we want to add the year the year so we'll paste that i will change this to the second index and instead of date it's going to be year let's check our data frame now let's see how it looks like let's see if we're able to do that okay we have an error name split d is not defined uh why is it not defined okay um, let me comment this out and let's run that first so now that we have run that and it went well now we can go ahead and add it now and see oh what is this oh sorry this is small letter it's not capital letter it's from my end a very silly error so let's review it now and see so here you can see we have successfully split the uh the date and the year we have splitted uh the day the the month and the day from the year into two different columns as date and year so now we'll go ahead and split this date again into month and day then from there we still have to do next so i can just go ahead and copy this upper function here so we don't waste much time in writing another fresh one i will just rename some things so here what we are splitting let's call this one split date split date one and instead of review time we want to split the date and instead of a delimiter of column want to be on space this wants it to split it between the space between them so we are going to call this call this one here this review let's call this one the first index will be month let me add column again let's call this one add month uh okay. it's a frame this one is split this one is split function for date so this one we are, want to add a month now and month is the first index there i want to call this let's call this let's call the column month and it's going to take let's watch let's watch the spelling now so we don't do the same error we did the first time so uh now we are going to, now we are going to add the d now right so let's call this one add the d add add the column oh my spellings i'm always having a problem with that i don't know some of you are laughing at me but it's fine 
So we're going to change this from month to day, and instead of first index, it's going to be the second index. So now we're supposed to have three columns. So there, there, we, there you go. We have the year, we have the month, and the day all separated from this uh, review time. So I think this is useless now. Let's go ahead and drop it. Let's go ahead and drop it. Let's go this one. Drop uh, review time. So it's going to be review to be equals to review dot drop. Uh, we're dropping the review time. I didn't drop the summary that time, did I? Oh gosh. And I did combine them. Did I combine them? Yes. Into a new column called review. What's happening here? Okay. I combined them, did I? Have I combined them? We are combining the summary. Yes, it's here. Okay, so why am I having such kind of things? Let's run it and see. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's run it again and see. Okay. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Can you imagine? That was what I dropped, actually. That's why I didn't, I didn't find it. Oh, let's just take care of this error real quick. So let's run it from up here again. It's still there. Mm -hmm. So our review is still here. So now let's just go ahead and drop this uh review time because we don't need it. Mm -hmm. This is it. So I'm going to eat review time. Review time. This is supposed to be inside brackets. Let's set the axis. Let's check the axis to maybe equals to one. So, oh, sorry about that. So the review time is out and here you can see we are actually making a progress. You can see there's a big difference between this data set up here and this one down here. As we have made a lot of cleaning and adjustments, we were able to, uh, okay, let's remove, let's remove this date as well. The review time is not there. So let me go ahead and remove the date. If we add this, going to drop an error. We don't need it anymore. What is with this? It's a key error review time, but it's not there. Oh, it's because of this. It's not more in the data frame. After running the game from up here, that's one thing you have to face with Python pandas. After running the game from top here. So, once I do that, gosh, what's this? Yeah, review time is there. It's also, it's not here. But we've already done that attack, we've already done everything. It's because we have already uh, executed that. And it's no money data set. That's why it's bringing that error. 
for us because it, you can't find you can't find this here so what we're going to do here to solve this error is uh we're going to actually comment out this so when we view the data set because it's reading the one that we have already saved let's comment that out let's view it now so now you can see that the review time is not here so that's why it's bringing that error because it cannot find the review time so now we want to remove this date column so what we would have to do here let's just go ahead and take, take back this so let's remove it now so the date column is now out you understand so now we can go back and and remove the columns from the they remove the uh the comment from the code if we run this code it will bring an error because the actual columns we are calling are no more available in the data frame so that's why it returned that error i hope that's understood so uh let's progress to the next the next uh workflow that we are following we have actually finished splitting our date so now just some little things uh we check the review counts over the the years then we'll group the sentiment by years it's gonna be very very nice then see if there's other other columns that we we'll have to remove so now is a review count over the years something very you don't need to see how it looks like uh this is years and i want to do a value count on it uh, auto complete is not helping here oh hope i don't run an internet error again did i yeah i did okay it's got it yes because my auto complete is not helping me and i'm there typing the wrong functions so there you go that's our review count and here you can see that uh as the year increases of course in 2005 <laughs> we can see that a very low number of people were actually using uh the digital network by then so it was actually very uh okay for them to have a very low review but as the year increase you can see that the review increases uh in 2010 they had about 350 to detail to 2013 about 4,000 reviews at it as it increases so let's check the other one the other one will have to group the sentiments by year so let's do something very actually very nice and let's see let's let me group the sentiment by year you're going to see something actually very nice we want to group it by year according if it's positive if it's neutral or negative that's what i want to do so uh it's reviews i want to group group it by year and also then sentiment that's what we want to do then we want to see the size actual size of each sentiment like the total num the total number of occurrence what's this what's this with this error we are hitting the column sentiment mm, we didn't spell it well mm. so this one probably is plain here you can see uh in 2004 we had um in 2004 we had seven positive 
in 2005 we have four positive then in 2006 that's where we started having a very actual value in 2006 we have one negative one neutral and eight positive and if you continue to look at this uh uh grouping here you will see that the positive increase as the year goes on in 2007 we had about 21 positive in 2008 we had about 54 in 2009 about 115 and it goes on the positive review kept on increasing which is actually very nice so let's look at our data set again and let's see how it looks like let's see how it looks like now so here you can see this is this is much more better than this if you look at this if you look at this data, data set here it's the difference between the data set and this and i think we have done a lot of work uh here we have the review id the product id the reviewer's name uh, i don't know if you really need this because we already have uh the reviewer's id the reviewer's name the helpfulness the overall i don't think we need this i don't think we need this so let's just go ahead and remove that let's go ahead and remove that actually let me go up here and copy that code. Read that code. Look at it here. Oh. Um, just paste it there. So, we want to remove. Let's cut it spelling now so that we don't do any error again. It's review, not the reviewer. Fine. Ah, well, oh, Jesus, Jesus, uh, I'll just copy this here and paste it here. So let's try it now and see what is this again. Of the pasting that I pasted, so we have to add extra this thing. So there you go. Uh, we are able to remove. We are able to remove that particular column out. So here you can see we have the reviewer's ID, the product uh, ID, the reviewer's name, as well as the helpfulness, then the overall, the year. So this is actually very clean. This is something that we can actually start visualizing. Start doing providing some visual insights on it to see uh, to help the shareholders have a proper understanding of what we are doing I don't want to make this video too long I'm going to create another video uh, to actually do that so for this section of the video that will be all uh, in order for you to be in touch and actually know when i upload the next video you have to subscribe to digital channel and also turn on the notification button so that immediately the video is out you will be the first to be notified uh for this video that will be all i'm going to drop a link to the data set in the description i'm also going to drop this complete file here i'm also going to drop this documentation everything i have done on this project here in the description you can go ahead and follow it and if there's any question you want to ask me on this particular part you can go ahead and drop it in the comment section and i'll be glad to help thank you for watching stay blessed